welcome back at Peter Place. We are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for tuning in, watching the videos, liking the videos, subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss a single update. Uh, I am on a Tears of the Kingdom marathon. Uh, so I'm pulling, uh, well, all, I'm not sleeping. I'm just playing, recording, posting, uh, all that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for watching and making the channel grow. Uh, I thought this was something I could pick up. It isn't. So this is an explodable wall. Uh, I want to check that. So I need to go into my inventory. Uh, and then uh, Korok seeds are a thing. We pick those up. Uh, so weapon wise. Okay, so that's what I've got. So, all right. Did I? Uh... Oh, all right. So I, I missed. I need this. Okay, equip. Thank you very much. Would this work? It does. All right, so um, I would assume this then um, replaces the bomb functionality from Breath of the Wild. Arrows, nice. So how many arrows do I have? 46, getting places, getting places. So um, yeah, leave your comments down below because I am sure I am not the only one who is or who is playing Tears of the Kingdom right now. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who is pulling an all-nighter playing this game all through the night, not missing a single second. Um, so, let me know what you think uh, compared to Breath of the Wild, because remember this was meant to be an expansion uh, for Breath of the Wild and then it became its own game. What do you think? Is it is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Um, what is an improvement? What is uh, not? Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm, I, I would be thrilled to read your ideas on that. Alright, so they, are they going to take care of that? All right, so let's watch that because look, that's a cool mechanic. I've never seen that in Breath of the Wild. So they are they are basically killing each other. It's super cool. All right, so they're gonna take care of the choo-choo jelly. They can't pick that up, I would assume. So let's try. And, and estimate the distance. That was short and sweet. And there is another choo-choo. What? So you need two hits of that for a choo-choo jelly? Are we are we serious? So um they dropped stuff. A thick stick and a long stick. Again, I think personally the inventory is not uh, an improvement the way that functions. Phew. So can I actually see the decayed master sword? It's now dormant and in deep slumber. So the decayed master sword is taking up an inventory slot. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I have two axes, but I do like them. So for now, I'm probably gonna drop that. And get the thick stick in its place and that would be it and then we'll keep on exploring i am conditioned to pick up every stone i can find uh, so um other question does anyone know please answer in the comments down below can i or can i not there's a treasure chest there but um can i or can i not collect rupees in this game So I've got 46 arrows, so I will try and use them again. So apparently it's the same mechanic as in Breath of the Wild. Shoot them in the eye, and that is double hit or something. He's dead. One, one, one stop shop. All right, cool. If you were to turn around, he just burned his club. I guess that's fine. Not seeing me, not really smart. Oh, come on, let me get into the eye. The eye of the tiger. There we go. Oh, I thought I had him in one shot. I didn't, fine. I didn't know there was a third one. But I can pick up another shield. A board guster. Oh, a board guster. I say, oh, I don't even know what that means. And there's a cooking pot. 
And there is a treasure chest. Arrows, maybe? Alright, so... Now, this is a cool thing. This is a cool thing. I asked this in Breath of the Wild and they listened. Okay, so I have two axes. So I will drop one. Or do I have something else I can drop? The stick has more range, yeah? so I'll, I'll drop an axe. Um... So this is a functionality they included. I like this a lot. I like this a lot, so you can swap it. So, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I, I, I hope these, these, these uh, waterfalls would continue all the way to the surface. Because, you know, obviously my, uh, my, my inventory looks very, very grim right now. But I can remember a certain Zora uh, armor that would allow me to swim up waterfalls. So that would have been cool. All right, so we've got things lying around here, so it probably makes sense that I would have to construct my way forward from this point on. Let's just check for Ooh, bird eggs. So that's that's how you uh, hang on a sec, because I think I took a shortcut. I was supposed to come through here following the path, which I didn't. And I missed a shroom, a stamella shroom, right? Um, so I'm in a cloud here again. Another stamella shroom that I missed. So then I came here, and there's another stamina shroom that I missed. And then we have some, oh wait, there's a cave system. Yes, 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 they said cave system. I, I'm gonna try and pick up that, that fish or these fishes. Got them. So there's a cave system here, all right. Caves are a thing now. That's interesting. Discovery. Pondside cave. All right, so. There's, there's new plants growing here. So let's pick these up. What are these? Bright bloom seed. One fuse attack power. That's something new. A seed that's often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving a faint light from a small flower. Ah, so it could give me light. So maybe it might not be the smartest thing to collect them all straight away. Alright, keys. Those are not new. Alright, yeah, I should remember. From this game's perspective, all of this is new, but yeah. And these are also not new things if you played Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, that's ore deposits. Um, so... Rock salt. There we go. So that's funny because I just merely finished Breath of the Wild. So I'm pretty, pretty accustomed to the... What is that though? Uh, to, the, to the things that are familiar. Alright, so... My first instinct would have been... My first instinct still would be to kill that thing. But I didn't see... It's apparently not an enemy. I'm sorry, dude. I thought you were an enemy. This is something, isn't it? It's a giant bright bloom seed. All right. All right. So what does that do then? It doesn't hurt. So can I use that? Well, I I'm, I do not get the impression that I'm making stuff darker here. There's more. Yeah, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, Link. <laughs> haven't found a single... Haven't found a single rupee yet. 
So this is obviously a collapsible wall. I know. It broke. Okay. So... Um... Oh! Oh, so I... Alright, so let's do that. I can do amiibos like that. Okay, so let's do fuse. Yeah. equip it with a stick <laughs> all right nice <laughs> right I was gonna say so Ruby all right that's nice and then a flint yeah uh, and then there was another ore deposit here Right, all right, cool. So I, I would imagine I could also do something with that. Wait, is that something I can pick up? Because that is very well hidden. I can. There is nothing underneath. Okay. Cool. So, cave system it is. There's a chest here. Chest looks very spacey. Or chests in this game look very spacey. What do I find? Archaic tunic. Old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle-free, oh, you fashionistas. Anyway, let's uh, let's equip it. So, yeah, equip that. And boy, do we start to look like the Link from the trailers, don't we? Yes, we do. Just agree with me. And if you don't, even if you haven't done so already, subscribe. You know you want to. You know you need to. You know you have to. All right. So, so this. Is all right, I thought this was like a slate, like in Breath of the Wild, that you could then lift out of the way. Oh, look! It's my pale holographic friend, Roru. I will talk to you later, but first, Roru, I am going to wreck havoc. Um, I need to, really need to... All right, so now my inventory slots have been filled up compared to the last time I checked. So I've got weapons, I've got shields, I've got bows, I've got clothing, I've got meals, uncooked meals, and then, yeah... Precious items and something. What would the something be? Because the the f well. What would the something be? Okay, we'll check that. We'll check that. But uh, first of all, <laughs> right. So I love this game because I'm a sucker for arrows, and boy, do I get arrows <laughs> and apples. All right. So Raru is not in the least bit in You're a spirit. Why are you sitting there, Raru? Anyway, talk. Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Yeah, like the soldiers, A. Eh? Anywho. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Cool. Some became so skilled with their specialities that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Interesting. It's like AI. But then... In a fantasy realm. Let's continue. Mm. Uh, you should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. All right. All right. So this was also featured in in the in the in the gameplay. Alright, so I know uh, in the gameplay this was also featured. <laughs> oh, come on. I su I, anyway, I'm not gonna kill myself looking for a fish. Um, but I am gonna try and explore this side of things.
So let's let's try something though before we do anything else. So okay, there's a little pond here. And a frog. And there's a little fish. Alright, so I got the fish. So let's try something real quick. Maybe it's very early in the game, but still I wanna know. I wanna know, so let's go. That's also eerily reminiscent, yes, uh, of uh, Skyward Sword. So let's try and scan an amiibo. Let's go for. Uh, do I have? Do I have like, 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 like um, Smash Brothers Zelda? Hmm. As per usual, I would say. Oh, there we go. Boing. Oh, that's your classical chest. All right, so all kinds of items I haven't seen yet. Electric Saflina. Iru Herb. Warm Saflina. Iru Herb, Electric Saflina, Night Blue Nightshade, and an Endura Carrot, or what is that? A Swift Carrot. So all of these are familiar from Breath of the Wild, as are the chests. Super cool. Amber, all right. So Amiibos, Amiibos, maybe very early in the game, but I like to give myself like a competitive edge. So let's see who else can we scan. Let's do uh, Link, do Skyward Sword Link, because I was thinking of Skyward Sword. So let's scan him in. All right, so let's first open that chest. Is he gonna kick it? Because this chest is the wrong way. Yes, he is. Sword spirit fabric. Tough fabric bearing a sword spirit design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh, yeah. Arrows. So they, they made an entire crate to pack one arrow. Let's try and get one of these things. A sunset firefly. All right, was there? Yeah, there were more. For some reason, I want them. All right, so let's see what else we can score amiibo wise. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, because he's set to return in this game. Let's do Ganondorf. All right, so a bunch of meat. Amber. Uh, let's not waste too many time with the amiibos. Let's maybe do a Karina of Time Link. I need to remember that because there's a bunch of meats here and arrows times five. Yep. Lon Lon Ranch fabric. Tough fabric bearing a long run ranch design. It looks like it could be made to make a paraglider. So, okay, paragliders are a thing. Last amiibo of the lot, which is going to be like uh, Majora's Mask. Let's do that. A whole bunch of shrooms. A chill shroom, we know that. A Hylian shroom, we know that. And a silent shroom, all right. And let's see what's in the chest. Majora's Mask fabric. Again, paragliders galore. Um, so that means, actually, I think that means. Uh, so now I should be using this, right? Ultra Hand. Uh, I think that means that the paraglider in this game is, is going to be like weapons. It's going to decay and I'm going to have to rebuild it. So can I talk to you people? Are you even people? You are constructs. The rafts for crossing to the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. It's ordinarily... This is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Zonai devices? That would probably be uh, these things lying around there. Ah, it seems that you do not yet know of Zonai devices. I think I know where this is going. There are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. The green thing is called a Zonai device. What green thing? Oh, there was one lying there. It's a propeller, I can see. All right. 
The one you see here is a fan. You produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of sonar devices for multitudinous purposes. Oh, is this how we're going to talk from now on? All right. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. But I have one. So I knew that, but they reminded me. That's cool. Oh, look, look, look. Triforce on the tunic. That's a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required for to use the Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited to use the energy contained within wisely. Mm. Otherwise, you may run out of that at inopportune moments their language pardon the long explanation it does not change our need for a raft all right so zonai devices are extremely useful think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them i do my friend i do i do so do i need to talk to all y'all <laughs> Really? I actually wonder... A lot. Um, but I wonder who came up with this. This concept of like, hey, uh, it was R and then... Who came up with that idea? Like, hey, let's 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 create the uh, the possibility in this game to build stuff. And the other thing, but yeah, obviously it has to do with the with the uh, with the idea of constructing thingies here. Um, but uh, well, the idea of rotating objects independently of the camera. That was also something I really didn't like about Breath of the Wild, that it wasn't possible, and here it is possible. So I'm gonna build myself a nice little raft. Um, the only thing that still bugs me a little bit is that you have to be in a certain spot in relation to the object to be able to... Uh, Rotate it correctly. All right, and then I would take that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, by all means, drop it because because it's, it's, yeah, sure. <laughs> so now I got myself a little raft so what I will do now is pick this entire thing up yeah <laughs> carefully drop it into the water so now I got myself a little raft uh, to the other side they say that would be that side there's like a cable running there okay so strike it they say huh um, so let's go into my inventory and, um, get this, so we are gentle with it. <laughs> oh, both of them go at once, okay, cool. Oh look! Look, the battery is uh, so. So, can I can I uh, can I strike it again when I'm there? Because I think yeah. <coughs> so I'm obviously on the other side. But what happens with my raft? Oh, that will just 
Okay, that will probably stay here. Yeah, yeah, because I think that's a pretty nicely constructed raft, right? So uh, let's grab all of these. Wait a second, because I'm always doing it the wrong way, am I not? So let's get the axe here. So let's try that again. If I just press this, yeah, I can do it this way. Okay. A rusty broadsword. All right, apparently I had an inventory slot. Didn't even know. Didn't even know. There's lots of stuff to pick up here, so I, I obviously will pick them up. So, another thing I can already say for me, this game feels absolutely huge already now. I haven't left Great Sky Island. I haven't seen nothing of the rest of the map. So look, 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 look where I'm at. This, this is it. So even this area alone is big for me. And look how tiny that is compared to the entire map. So I think... And I will continue that later. Hello. Oh, are you going this direction? Yes, it's very late to be traveling. This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I have developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell them to you? Goodbye. No, obviously, let's hear them. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. All right. Uh, I'm not going to read those because I know how I can cook and I... Yeah, all right, cool. Ah, so we're going to go into a cold area, are we? Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so there's a shroom there. So as I was saying, I think people that said that Tears of the Kingdom would be smaller yeah. than Breath of the Wild, I think they are wrong um, so far. So let's check because we've got a temperature gouge. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. So do I still have something here? Again, I did it the wrong way. I could have used... Uh... <laughs> Alright, so how can you... How can you do that, huh? can you do that and actually is it smart to do that <laughs> that's something i haven't figured out yet i think so wait but the track runs on top of this thing so if someone knows how to do that because in breath of the wild you could do a jump attack That way, okay. Oh. Let's see. Of course. You're not as to. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. No. So people who don't know because they didn't play Breath of the Wild, Hestu is that giant broccoli uh, that actually made um, or lost his Korok seeds. And then he was also the, the massive, um, greedy, 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 and I'm not going to say the swear word, who kept increasing his prices uh, for those in, in return for those uh, Korok seeds for inventory slots. I can see you. All right, all right, so, oh, hello. <laughs> so at some point in this game, I'm going to run into Hestu again. 
<laughs> oh, I hope they fix that mechanic. That has to is like, you have Korok seeds? For just one, I'll give you the entire inventory. As soon I charge. Oh, these are derelict. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Any estimations? Breath of the Wild apparently held 900 Korok seeds. How many Korok seeds uh, would uh, Tears of the Kingdom hold? 9,000? Just saying. If you think you know, if you want to make a guess, comments down below, please. All right, so they set fire. I'm, I'm not carrying any fire. Obviously not tough enough for me. <laughs> um. All right, just a water pond, I think. Let's continue and keep an eye on the recording. That's half an hour, but I'm kind of hoping I can make it to that last shrine that I was told I should visit. So in Breath of the Wild, there were four initial shrines. Right, shrines. Sorry. Right now, there's three. Vertex. And then after the four things, I could get a spirit orb. So I'm hoping. Oh, 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 oh. Mine cards and a thing. All right. So I should, I should. Yeah. All right. So does the track end here? Yes, it ends here. So this way is not. Alright, so we should follow the tracks. Now, question is, do I need... Well, there's lots of stuff here, so probably I would need it. So at some point... The mining cave. So I'm, I'm assuming that at some point... Hmm. <laughs> that would be here. I don't see what's, what's here anymore. So I would assume... I would need light. And I would also assume... I would need to put this on the tracks. Oh, that snaps into place quite nicely. That is cool. Uh, wrong button, sorry. Yeah, I think I did that pretty nicely with like this this very weird bubble gum like type thing. This thing is moving. Um and then I kind of need a fire. So the way I would start a fire, if it works like in Breath of the Wild, is I would um, go into my inventory. I would hold a flint. I would drop that. And then I would go into my inventory again. I would get a... And I would strike that. There we go. Uh, now I might also get a tree branch, which I can't carry. Boy, this is inconvenient. Um, so... Hmm. Oh! Didn't even see you lot! Didn't even see you lot! I have to do it, right? I 
I got 62. No! All right, inventory. Uh, bows, where are the bows? They're not seeing me, that's nice. I'm just shooting my arrows from a safe distance. Like... Alright, that's minus one. You are way closer. There's still not, not really none the wiser that I'm here. Ooh, that was a nice one. Yeah, I like this kind of warfare. Oh, so there's two arrows I should... Three arrows I should maybe find. All right. And there's nice weapons I can pick up. All right, cool. Ah, uh, shield. I can't pick up the rusty broadsword just yet. Okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, so let's go into the axe again. So let's let's try and use this menu. All right, so there's three arrows, so I got those back. Uh, then that bow. I can't carry any more of those, but I need it. All right, so inventory. Oh. All right, just like in Breath of the Wild for now, the, uh, okay, so let's go back into the, wait, let's try something. If I do this, then I can, all right, so. Why am I now in the shields menu? Ah, so I'm going to the axis menu. All right. All right, so I I can't apparently go into the bow menu. Or do I do it? Or do I do it like this? Yes, yes, okay, fine. What? But I could get it back, all right, cool. So, um, inventory. I will drop this and pick up that. And then you can also Well, okay, let's leave it because yeah. Uh then I need to figure out a way to make a torch. All right, so maybe, sadly, how did I get here? Uh, so I didn't see you lot. Ah, I came through here. All right, cool. So, um, I should go back down, I'm sorry, because I don't know how to make a torch. But apparently there is a way in this game to make a torch, so uh, I should have talked to my good friend all the way at the bottom. Which was here somewhere. There we go. All right. Teach me about fire. A flint as a fire starter, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, okay, that was a waste.
That was a bit of a waste. I thought I could learn how to make a torch. Apparently I cannot. Sad. Oh look, it's indicated on the map that there's a cave system. So what I could do... So far, I don't think I missed out on a lot. Oh, I should not have picked them up. I should have collect. I should have struck them. Oh, let's let's drop that. Hello. So let's actually see what. Yeah, that really brightens up the place. Huh? But now you can't collect them. Okay. Um. Hello. This cave is especially dark. Well, I just lit it up for you, my friend. You will need a light in order to proceed into the mining ahead. Do you have any blight room seats? Yes, I do. So the okay. So what does that mean then? Because the, the cave is dark, okay. What does that mean then? That I should go into my inventory and... So I'll try something actually. So I go into my inventory. No, I'll do it this way. I will take this. And now I will go... No. Um. So fuse it, fuse, yeah. All right, so. So I want to fuse it with something from my inventory. Is that not possible? <laughs> Wait, have I just forgotten how to fuse? Ah. Okay, apparently that's not how that works. So then what I need to do is go into my inventory. And do this. So apparently that's how that works. Zonite, an unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancient, ancients, I'm sorry, extracted energy from it and refined it for crafting weapons and armor. All right. There's lots of zonite here. I'm already a, a, a well, okay. Um, oh. All right. 
right, so I charge. Ah, there's another frog here. I don't know what these do, but it's definitely not an enemy. <laughs> Alright, so the stones are there to fuse them with the stick. In case you need you need these things. Alright. <laughs> so sometimes, at least that's my impression here, Link mysteriously turns around 180 degrees. So let's go talk to you. Can I can I grab all of these? Alright, the zonite. Yep. There are trace deposits on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Okay, our society flourished by processing the substance into other materials. Processing? Question mark. Zonite is processed by smelting it into a furnace that is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Interesting conversation. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sort of materials the ore can be processed into. Uh, that is very nice of you. Zonite charges. Solidified crystallized charges. Alright. So I know what a zonite charge is, but not a crystallite. So let's do... Yeah, solidified. Alright. Construction of energy cells. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Cool. So can I just pick these up? Oh. All right. So you need to buy them, huh? Oh. So Zonite is a thing in this game. Can I smash that one? Can I smash that one? And they're all mine. And these are what? This is a minecart station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonite capsules? Zonite capsules. I don't even know what you mean. Zonite capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonite devices. It's unfortunate that it is. I will lend you a few spares. All right. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Think carefully. I already need one. But before I do that, um, because obviously then I would... Oh! 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 Look what I let slip by. <laughs> All right. So... So I've, uh, oh, I let that one slip.
All right. So I will obviously need to place, uh, then I need to do. So look, there's one, two, three, four, five other slots here. One will be an ability at least, and then the others we'll have to see. <laughs> Will this snap into place? Oh yeah, it will. All right. Um. So now if I go into wait, was that the missing thing in the inventory? Yes, it was. So. All right. No. What did I just do, huh? What did I just do? What did I just do? <laughs> I can't put them back into my pouch. What did I just do? Anywho, I can, I can, I... Uh, okay, let's go there. Let's go. How was I supposed to know that worked that way? So Right, let's let's try and do something else and I can't put them back into my pouch. Okay, I can drop them. I can <laughs> All right, one of these devices I lost. Who's here? Uh. Yes, the time bell. All right. Mm. So where is the temple of time at this point, actually? Huh? Oh, that looks uh, ominous right there. Temple of time would be, I don't know where. That seems an interesting spot. Let's take a look, see. The device dispenser operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Hello. Do you want to use the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use a device dispenser. Uh huh. Construct horns and Zonai chargers. Wait a sec. All right, so. Ah, 
arrows. Let's 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 uh let's try this. So uh, inventory. All right, so we have to do this differently because apparently I can't hold them from here. So All right, I got lots of these and that's the zone I charge. Let's do that again. Uh, so I had well, what what do if I what happens if I only use zone I charges? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. So uh, this is funny because this this is eerily reminiscent of like these uh, these machines for for kiddos to to do like uh, you put in a, 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 a yeah half a euro coin or whatever and you get lots of candy. So let's do it once more because I've got lots of zone charges. So hold because I got a lot of these now. Huh? Yeah, Link is super happy. All right, so I got these things. So these stones are probably also here to make sure that you can make weapons to smash out. You need to reach your friend, huh? And where's your friend at? Yeah, where's your friend? All right, all the way there. All right, so let's think about this. The friend is all the way there. So the way to do it would be with a cart. Do I have it? Yeah, there is a cart over there. All right. So this episode has almost gone on for an hour. The last shrine that I need, there's a dragon over there, by the way, is over there. Uh, but for now, I will uh, call it an episode. Boy, am I doing long stints of, Breath of, um, of Tears of the Kingdom right now. Wow. Um, but yeah. We've been exploring quite a bit of the map, so for now, thanks for watching, thanks for liking the videos. There's a cold area up there, you can see with the snow and everything. Thanks for leaving me some nice comments down below, and thanks so much for subscribing to the channel, as that will really make this channel grow, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye!